Because we thank and praise God truly for the truth that has been preached down through the years in this temple in Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, saying sometimes we don't we don't really appreciate. I will say some of us sometimes we may not. I, I'm not going to say no one does not appreciate it. But saints, if you all haven't went to the service that we went to on Friday night, yes, yes. you will really understand how mm -hmm. sometimes on the radio broadcast, mm -hmm. how that the message goes out sometimes. And mm -hmm. just to be able to receive it on that end in yeah. Jesus Christ's name. Yeah. Saints, I'm here to tell you that the saints there was really rejoicing yes, to yes, be able yes, to hear yes. the man of God who they amen, have. Amen, amen. Who they have heard on the radio. Yeah. You know, they've met and right now, sometimes how that is, you know, we take it for granted sometimes. But then how to see the man of God and to hear the man of God, as they say, in real life. Amen. It's kind of like us sometimes, I guess, we, we look at, say, Jesus. We don't see him. But we know, we, we've heard of all that, the manifestation, all the love that he's shown down through the years and from various generations. But just to be able to see him personally, say, say, oh, what what kind of rejoicing would we do? Yeah. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, I'm, I'm thankful to God that we have a man of God. Yeah. You know, I don't know what it's like not to have a man of God. I have to go back to my years of before coming into the church in Jesus Christ, man. But I didn't have nobody. But just to be able to step into the house and have a man of God, I will say to God Almighty, I appreciate who you have set before us in Jesus Christ, man. Because there's someone to help govern my soul, to help my soul to be saved. You know, all men won't give you the truth. But because we have someone that, that, that number one, number one, they fear God. Number two, they want us to be saved. Number three, they're not trying to get, get no personal women or whatever for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's about saving all of our souls. Yeah. So saints, we have to appreciate those things. We have to cherish these things. Because you know what? One day... He's going to be gone. That's right. That's right. We might as well admit it. One day he's not going to be here. But we thank God that God is still here. God said he will raise up another. But at the same time, every man is not going to be the same. Every Pharaoh was not the same. So we have to learn how to cherish the men that we have. Saints, I, I, I'm, I'm going that way because, uh, again, something that I heard over, you know, when we was over in Thomasville. You know, the young lady that come here, uh, I, don't, I don't know none of them name, but she was always, you know, she always, they'll get the mic and they would, they would just be singing and, and praising God. Yes, sir. But, you know, the, the pastor wife even or whatever, boy, yes. she really, she yes. really appreciates that. Yes. Yes. I'm saying, I'm saying, yes. not that, you know, not in a lustful way, but Correct. I'm saying she appreciates yes. him to the point of his message that yes. goes out over the air. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I'm saying to us saints, let us keep on doing what we are doing. You know, you may think, oh, I just do mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But your little bit is very much appreciative. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I may do a whole lot. You know, I'm always before the spotlight. But your spotlight, or you're always doing what you're doing, it, it's appreciative. Yes, sir. Someone appreciate every little thing, every big thing that someone does, and it's for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So saying, I'm saying to us, we have to encourage one another. We need one another. We, we, you may not think that what you're doing is, is someone is seeing it or is being appreciative, but saying, every, I mean, the little things that you do, if you clean the bathroom, if you pick up a piece of paper, whatever you're doing for the Lord is appreciative. You know, and I want to encourage us, hey, keep on doing what we're doing. If you can do more, do more. Yes, but do. don't do less. Do mm -hmm. something. Amen. Do something. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. But, I really want to extend, you know, to Elder Butler because, you know, hey, I, 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 I appreciate the people there. And I know it's other people, and I know it's people that's here. We appreciate you just the same. 
You know, like I say, sometimes, you know, you don't get this, but we appreciate you. I appreciate you. you know, I personally, I appreciate you. You know, I can say the truth. You know, me looking back to, on, on the things that I've gone through in life, hey, sometimes I don't, you know, when I come to service, I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm down. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm down. Yeah. Jesus. But I uh, thank God for the word of God. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But just to have children, I mean, to see your children rejoice in the Lord, to see your children, you know, playing instruments, you know, going through school, doing well in school, having good jobs, all of those things. I mean, I appreciate my son. I appreciate my son. But at the same time, I'm saying to the Butler family, to the saints, the saints that are here, hey, we need one another. You know, all of us are important. You know, a lot of times we don't we don't say to one another, hey, I love you. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not going to do things that's going to hurt you. That's Amen. Right. I don't want to get out here. Amen. I don't want to get out here and scandalize you. Oh, I don't want to get out of here and, and, and do mm -hmm. things to where it's going to bring your approach back to oh, the church. Yeah. Oh, you know, because it's like, you know, we are in, in rep representation of God. Christ, you know, dwells in us. You know, the, the preachers down through the years have preached the word to us, and as we go out amongst the world, saints, we're supposed to be draw, being able to draw them into the church. You know, if we were to be a, a church to the point to where we were running around on one another, wives and husbands and brothers and sisters and so forth, saints, th this church, you know, we represent God. We got to always keep that in remembrance. We represent God. Right? You know, whatever we do, whatever we say, our, our actions, you know, I always, you know, when I learn, you know, I've read, you know, reading the Bible, but a lot of times when you read the Bible and you read things the way you understand things better, Jesus, his whole purpose was coming into this life, number one, to save us. But out of him coming in, coming into this world, you know, he was he was not into this world. He was a, he was right there with God. God created him. He was, he was God's first creation. You say before the angel, before anything, Jesus was God's first creation. When he created, when he created his son, his son was right there with him. When he was making the world, he was right there with him. Yeah. Right there. That's, right. That's why if you read in the Bible, how the Bible says he sent his son into the world. Mm -hmm. Before he came into the world, he was with God. Yes. When the Bible said, let us make man in our Amen. image. In our image. That Jesus. was more than God. Yeah. But he was right there with him. Yeah. That's why a lot of times you contend with men and preachers or whatever to the point of if you ever get people to see things, he was God's first creation. God had a purpose for him even in the beginning. That's why he sent his son into the world, to save us. Save us. And that's why we have to accept his son. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, again, when I was saying reading the Bible, reading the Bible, you know, when Jesus came, I always look at it to the point to where he showed love. Whatever the things that he was doing, he was showing forth love. He showed forth love so much to where he, he died, and that was love. Yeah. That was love. You know, we, we, we look amongst ourselves, uh, uh, one another. We got mothers, we got brothers and sisters, cousins that have died. But the land, and, you know, the people that have lived, who would naturally take their life and give their life up so that someone else can live? We love our children, we love our wives, our husbands, but would you really die for them? You know, a lot of times we say, yeah, I do it, but would you really, really do it? When it comes to that point. Yes, Jesus died for us. Yes, he did. He gave up his life for us. Yes, sir. That's why we owe him so, so much. Mm -hmm. Very true. So, so much. Out of singing, out of praising, out of just loving one another. That's why sometimes, saying, we, can, we, don't, we don't have time to be bashing one another's head. Amen. You know, Amen. The, the devil going to do that. Amen. Yes. Amen. The devil is really going to do that. Amen. I mean, he's going to destroy us. He's going to he's going to just, you know, have his way with us if we allow him to. Some right. some of us some of us are strong in mind. Mm -hmm. But what about the ones that are weak? That's right. You know, the devil is still there. Right. So, you know, as we sing, as we pray, we'll just pilgrim saints passing through. Yes. 
we're on our way to heaven. We're on our way to get out of this right. life. We got to die one day. But prior to death, let us live the life that's pleasing to God. You know, help us, help us to help one another. Not hurt. Nobody should put a stumbling block before their sister that's or right. their brother right. in the natural, nor even in the spirit. Amen. That's right. You know, not even your enemies. Yeah. Especially, especially if you've been called to God. That's true. You know, God called us to peace. That's you know, right. people are gonna do things to us. We can't retaliate against that's them. That's true. That's right. Yeah. You know, God, 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 God is the avenger of all. Yes. yes Every, everyone that you know do things against Jesus, us. You know, we have to really have to take the scripture for what the scripture says. That's right. Let us pray for them. You know, sincerely, because you know what? If you if you really look at your life, we were that way one time ourselves. That's true. That's we true. really were. Yeah. You know, hey, I, I'll get you back, That's and true. I will get you. And some some folks still got that mentality within themselves. I'm gonna get you. Gonna get you. But you know what? Even though you say it sometimes, you know you got to come to your sense. You know what? I ain't gonna get you. God gonna get you. And then even if God gets right before, you know, according to the scripture. Don't laugh at them. Don't laugh at them. I told you I was going to say don't, don't do that. Because it, it can come against you too. Yeah. You know, I always said if, if you ever want to see God's work, get your hand out of it. That's right. true. Get your hand out of it. If you're going to put your hand in, just pray. Don't even pray to God. Beat them up or nothing. Just pray a righteous prayer. You know, that's what the people of God do. That's true. I'm saying we are the people of God. You know, don't forget that. We are the people of God. Amen. So let us remember those things. Also, uh, I think we did, out of our announcement, we didn't make a, a mention, but we're supposed to be going to what? Panama City on next week, right? Yes. All right. So let us, you know, govern ourselves in court. Let's try to go and, you know, and that's another thing, see? Thank God for the ones that did go to um, Thomasville. You know, but it means something sometimes for a lot of us to go to show support to the ones who we're going. Remember, it's not just a preacher. Because, you know, sometimes when you see other people come and see about you, you know, it's not just one or two all the time. But when a whole lot, hey, y'all thought enough about me just to come see me? Right. You know, that means something to people. Yeah. I go back to Thomasville because, you know, I think about, you know, how that, I, I think it was the, the preacher, I think it was the preacher who was saying to the point to where, you know, when, the one particular sister that I can say, she sings here a lot of, you know, she's very, you know, active in singing and so forth, and she really loves to sing. But she's very encouraged to the point of coming to Tallahassee. Yes, she is. You know, she was saying yes, how that is. the saints here, you know, I'm, I'm only testifying, you know, mm -hmm. what she was testifying. Mm -hmm. she, she'd gone to other churches, she'd mm -hmm. seen other churches, she'd seen how other churches had acted and, and, and be. But she really loved the way that the saints in Tallahassee show forth love. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Because, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. because Thank you, Jesus. we have been taught to do that. Amen. And by doing that, she sees the realness, the sincerity of that. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, the preaching is not in vain. Amen. You know, because, you know, if you if you if you take the word of God and you apply it to your life and you yes. act accordingly to it, it'll show up. Yes, it will. And it shows up, Sam. Yes, it will. But that particular sister, a lot of time, I, 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 they were saying, you know, I think on fourth Sunday they don't have, they don't, they basically go visit visiting churches. Mm -hmm. But it was another church I think that they go to, and, and when they, when the pastor said well, they were going to that, you know, just make yourself like a sad face because she gets a sad face. Mm -hmm. But when she says you're going to Tallahassee, boy, she just brightens up. Boy. Mm -hmm. In other words, she really loves coming here. They mm -hmm. really love coming here. Yes, so say, yes. let us, let us mm -hmm. be encouraged and let us continue to show forth the love of That's God right. and let us continue to. <laughs> do God's will because you know it's good. Yes, it is. This, this is you know this is a sweet way. Yes, it is. It really is. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Just imagine Amen. If, if if God never allowed us to taste this way. Mm. Just imagine us the the worst of the worst out into the world. Yeah. You know, just out into the world. Period. With no God. No God. But it's a blessing to be this way. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. It really is. Yeah, you may not may not understand everything, but it, it is a blessing to be in the house of God, to hear God's word, to be able to act upon it. Because people out in the world they really don't get these things. So you know, I, I, I'm grateful. You know, and I want to show forth my gratefulness to God by being obedient to His word. So I do ask the saints that would pray, continue to pray for me, and I pray for you likewise. Because saints, we're here in the earth, but. We striving to make it to heaven. You know, yeah. just as I look around and I see your faces, 
you know, if y'all make it to heaven, hey, I want y'all to look around. I pray and hope to God that I be there also. Amen. So that's what that's our old, that's our number one goal. Hallelujah. We're striving to be yes, saved. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what, we want to thank be you, saved. So we thank and praise God truly for everyone. Brother Jesse had an announcement. Give up on God. Never ever. No matter what the devil throws at you, no matter what may come your way. Never, ever give up on God. If you give up on God, that's it. You didn't give up on me. You didn't give up on your sister or your brother. Saints, never, ever give up on God. If you don't know the word of God, take the word of God and read it. I don't care. You know, people think, you know, personally, I, I, I'll share this with you all. I never was a good reader. Personally, through school, I never read much of nothing. Yeah, you know, I always go back to you know Brother Wilson. You know, you, you know I'll be sitting at the front. You know, he be like, you know, he sing a song, open up praise, he be pointing at me. Don't you read scripture? I'm like, <laughs> in other words, don't give me reason. But you know what? When I used to sit home, I mean, I would actually stand up and I would read scripture, and I was not a like I say, I was never a good reader. But I, I made up in my mind. I used to go home and, I, and I, would, I would take the Bible and I would sit in my bathroom because I figured if I go in my bathroom, I ain't too many people going to bother me. So I call mm -hmm. it like my little study room. Mm -hmm. But I would go in the bathroom and I would sit and I would read. But at the beginning, when I used to read, you know, I, I wouldn't read a paragraph. You know, as little boys, you know, you could throw us a ball, we'll play all day. You give me a book, man, I'm sleeping. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm like, you need to take toothpicks and stick in your eyelids to keep your eyes open. You're still going to be sleeping. But I say that to say, I really made myself take the Bible and read. You know, read some. You know, read some. I mean, you know, though I didn't understand what I was reading, I still try to make myself read some. Some, even now I find myself, yes, I'm busy, but still I, I try to make myself read some. You know, Though I may not understand everything that I read, a lot of things I read, I still don't understand. But I make myself read something. Saint, it's good to read the word of God. The devil will make us sleepy. He'll make us, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Don't read it. No, right. whatever. Still, take time and read the word of God. Right. There's power in the word of God. It's things that would encourage us in the word of God. That's right. But it's up to us to take the initiative. It's a personal thing. It's up to us to take the initiative to take God's word and read it. We can gain power just by reading. Devil, though you talk to me and you say, hey, this is the last time. I'm not, you know, we, we all have our limitations. But there's no limitations in God. Don't allow us to allow ourselves to get in the self when it comes down to serving God or trying to do God's will. Yeah. Every time we get in the self, our self, we always have limitations. Mm -hmm. Always. But there is no limitation once we do it in the spirit, saints. So we have to learn to allow ourselves to get into the spirit of God. Don't let the devil talk to us. If he talks to us, put God's word on us. Right. Tell the devil to get behind us. Just like Amen. Jesus did. Get behind Amen. us. Say it, Amen. Say it with authority. Amen. Say it with authority. Amen. Get behind me, get Satan. Behind. That's yeah. exactly right. Because get if you he, he will run you get over. Behind. Yes, he will. He will run you over and yes, back up and run you over again. Yes, yes he right. will. Children, you got to learn how to tell us saying that get behind me. Use get God's word. Call yes. on Jesus. That's right. Every time, that's every, right. every time he comes to you, he's going to bring thoughts. Yes, he yeah. will. You know, a lot of times, you know what? People do not have much experience with God. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they got a whole that's lot of experience that's with the, the truth. devil. That's the truth. That's the truth. They know when the devil mm -hmm. is talking. That's right. But they don't know when Jesus, Jesus. is talking. Lord Jesus. So, saints, we have to learn how to call on Jesus. That's right. That ain't nothing we just say, but you got to literally do these things. Yes, Satan will talk to you in your mind. Yes, you he will give you thoughts. Yes, but you have to say, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going yes, to just say, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
this is the last Jesus. time? Yes. No. Lord no, Jesus. it ain't. No, it ain't. Lord Jesus. Maybe the last time for you, but it ain't for me. You got to speak it in with the power. Yes, yes, yes. Say yes. a lot of times when we read the word of God, but you, when Jesus yes. spoke to them devils, Jesus wasn't playing. That's right. right. Hallelujah. Jesus was not playing yes. with them yes. devils. Yes. Yes. Get behind you, say yes. 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 Even, even to the point when it came to his close one, Peter them. Yes. Peter, you are know, offense to me. That's mm -hmm. Get behind me, sir. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, I don't care who you are. Thank you, Lord. 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 We are the church of Lord Jesus Christ. You better, you better know the power of the power of the power. That's one thing you better know. Because if you don't, when you step out the door, Jesus. Satan right there to meet you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He'll talk to you while you're sitting in the church. Thank you. You got to be in the right place. Let us therefore hear. hear. You know, you got to hear mm -hmm. the word of God. Yeah. You can't hear the word of God outside these doors. Amen. You can't hear the word of God when you, you know, doing other things. That's yeah. why sometimes you got to get rid of distractions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes to the mm -hmm. church, you have to hear yeah. the word of God. Yeah. It's for saving yeah. our soul. Oh, Jesus. A lot of times I got to do this. I got to, yeah. you know what? Forget this and forget that. When you're, when you're dead and gone, mm -hmm. your life is over. All Jesus. that stuff gonna be left behind. Mm -hmm. So we have to get it in order. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Oh, we really gotta get to the point where, hey, Jesus. I'm more focused on God. Mm -hmm. I won't let nobody. Hey, trust me, church. church. Mm -hmm. But when I come to church, you know what? I gain strength. Jesus. You know, through a song. That's right. Through the word of God. Do someone testify? Right. It give me courage. That's true. Lord, I'm not as strong as that person, but you know what? I desire to be like that. Yeah. yeah. So, same. That's why I say again, we need one another. Yes, we do. It's good for us to sit down and talk sometimes. Yes, it is. It's really yes, it is. I mean, you know, sometimes yes, we don't have is. some battle, but you know what? If we could just listen to one another. Yes, we can. None of us are perfect, mm -hmm. but. We all are striving for perfection. That's it. You know, all of us have gone through something that can help somebody. That's right. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. Children. I used to I used to do a whole lot of mischievous things. I used to steal. You know, when the words say steal. I used to steal. But you know what? I thank God that He taught me a better way. Yes. See these hands? Yes. I can get out and I can work. Hallelujah. I can get a whole lot of things. I just work with my hands. Jesus. Now I don't have to steal nobody's stuff, and I, you know, I don't want nobody stealing my stuff. But if they do, you know what? It may be as they say, you reap what you sow. I, I, I stole some of their stuff, so they stole some of my stuff, so I guess I'm eating all right. But at the same time, I'm saying, I was not always perfect, but I'm striving for perfection. I'm not perfect even today, but I'm still yet striving for perfection. In other words, when, when my life is ended, if I'm laid up here, wherever I'm laid up or whatever, my life is gone. Yeah. It's over. There's nothing I can do, good nor bad. That's true. It's over. Yeah. That's why when you have the chance, the opportunity, take advantage of it. That's right. You know, Mother Jackson sing a song, because I may not have this chance anymore. <laughs> Saints, we thank God for everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. Everybody. Okay. I, I want to talk directly to you, my brother. I wasn't born in the church. I was raised in the church. I come from the street. You know, my my children may not have the testimony. I yeah. I have did a lot of things that's in the street. You know, I was under pressure, and I told my wife, I wish, you know, so much pressure I was under, I can go back and just pick up a drink to relieve my pain. But I understand that that's the trick of the devil. Yes. There's no end once he puts you in that position to go back to your old life. Because that old life never satisfied you. You wouldn't be here if it did. And I, I would tell my wife, the only reason why I don't do these things is because my eyes are open. Yes. God has opened my eyes. And yes. knowing there's no end to that. There's no good ending to that. The waste of sin is death. And that's why I want to tell you, you know, you, you have to find a new craving. A new addiction, a new—you got to have a more hunger for God, like you had. God had to turn me, turn my world around. You know, I used to hang in the street. You know, I used to do all kinds of things. I, I didn't give myself no rest. 
But I say, you know, it's something. You know, scripture call God jealous. You know how we can give the devil everything. Our best, tired, frustrated, we still did the thing that was against God. And one, one time I was too tired, I wanted to do something for God. I told myself I'm tired. And God brought a scripture back to me. He said, the wicked doesn't rest until they do evil. And I said, remember, yeah. you used to not rest no said. matter how tired you was. You should have no problem sometimes to push yourself to sit down and find the word of God, something to encourage you. You know, and I was like, that. it, it, it convicted me. You know, the scriptures say redeeming the time. We only have so much time left. Yes, and I used to read the scripture. I could not understand, but the scripture talks about if you ask for wisdom, God will give you that wisdom and freedom to read that scripture. I was in the street. I did all a lot of things. You know, I did much with the friends that I hung with because, you know, I would be in prison. But you know what? I have changed my life with the help of God. You know, many times, you know, I I, I know this is going to be a lonely walk because many times I, I'm, I'm walking alone. You know, God bless me, uh, you know, especially with the parents, the family I come from. I encourage people, you know, I encourage people. My lady called brother so and so. God, I, I, I encourage people. But sometimes I want to fall. That's right. Sometimes that's I need right. somebody to encourage that's me. That's right. The one that's always being encouraged, don't think they're always that's right. encouraged. That's right. You know, sometimes that's I right. pick the phone. Sometimes that's I right. look to see if my phone is running, if I had a missed call from a brother. That's because right. scriptures also say, woe to them that are alone. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot fight this mm -hmm. demon by yourself. That's right. You cannot fight this devil all alone. You need mm -hmm. somebody to help you. You need a brother or sister to pray for you. You can't do it all alone. Uh -huh. I can't fight it all alone. You know, that's why at least I, I kind of have to encourage myself. I have to, yes, I have to see some brother saying something, my sister saying something. Because you know what? I, I, it's, more, it's more personal if you come to me and say some encouraging words. You know, that's why I say, I have learned to walk this walk by myself. Mm -hmm. You have to build that relationship. How you build it, you take some time with him. Mm -hmm. You have to spend some time with God. You have to know God, just like God knows you. You have to constantly be in his face. So when things go happen, it's just like you're not a, a, a visitor or a stranger. It's like, Lord, you know me. Hallelujah. Yes. We've been through this before. Lord, I ain't put you behind my back. Oh, Lord, yes, I'm in front of you. I'm you because I talk to you all the time. You got to keep constantly having that conversation with God continually. Yes. That should not be nothing to interrupt. Like I, one time I was teaching, when you're talking to somebody and it's important, you forget everything around you. Right. People can say, I saw you talking, but you didn't see me. I was, you was too busy in the conversation. That's how it got to be with God. You got to be so connected that nobody, not your drugs, not the drinking, not nothing can become between you and God. You have to remember God saved you. And that's a personal thing. I walk, I mean, you got to learn to pray by yourself mm -hmm. and find joy in the lonely Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You got to find Hallelujah. strength in the lonely Thank praise. You, nobody know, I don't, listen, I, it would be a blessing someone to call because I'm not fooled to say I'm strong by myself. But you know if I got to walk alone, I'm going to walk alone. Yes. Not to put nobody down. If I got to walk Thank alone, Jesus. you know, I'm going to walk alone with God. Hallelujah. Is this his relationship? There was time I used to take a long walk from my mom out to my auntie house, and me and God would have a moment of communion prayer, and I just talked to him by myself, by myself, and that relationship built over time. And then you start seeing God start doing some changes in your life when you start talking to Him and you start giving stuff to Him, and you start seeing God deliver you from the things that you used to be from. And then your hunger for God will be more greater than your past life, even though you have a desire to go back. That past life won't be stronger than your love for God. If you want to fight against your old life, you got to build up your relationship with your love for God. If you don't build up that strong relationship, anything can come along and pull you. Anything can trick you. But when you have the love of God, you can say, I want nothing to break me and God up. I want nothing to separate that love. Because I've been through much. If you look back over your life, how many times God saved you? How many times God delivered you? How many times God helped you? How many times when you didn't have an understanding of no way to fix the situation, God stepped in for you? Think about those times. Those are the times to think about how God loved you so much through your bad times. You know what's amazing thing about God? He loves you even when you mess up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know that? Because if he didn't love you, we all be dead up here. Yes, right? yes, yes. We all be sick to hell. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, Lord. it's like your relationship between Jesus. a husband and wife. I yes, see you at your work, but I still love you. Jesus. And that's how God Jesus. has loved you.
love you no matter what you go through. Hallelujah, God loves you. Lord. Even Lord. if you mess up, you can still run Lord. to Him. That's I can right. always go to God when I slip. You don't sit there and let the devil fool you and think He's going to come for you. He's going to come for you and He's going to leave you. Mm. He's going to leave you. That's a false comfort. He makes you feel good for a moment, and then he just let all the things fall apart on you at that time. He's not your best friend. Yes. If he was your best friend, he would have tried to kill you all this time. Uh, Jesus. He would have never tried to kill you. Brother, I'm going to tell you, there's nothing back out there. There's nothing out there that can satisfy you like God. Yes. I guarantee you, you won't find nothing close like God. I couldn't understand the scripture. I don't know. I'm not teaching. I couldn't understand it. But I kept having a home. I said, I'm going to read this thing. Hallelujah. Until I get some understanding from it. Yes. I have a hunger for you. I need to know you. I need to know how you are. And I need to know what you're doing in my life. But trust me, my brother, when you understand how much God cares for you, you won't turn back. You will never turn back. He's been there from you from the beginning. Since you stepped out that room, he's been there. Because you could have been a child stillborn, but you're here. And here. And you got the opportunity of a chance of a lifetime. Don't let that devil ever fool you and tell you that he has something great. God is the greatest thing that you ever. When you made that mind up to follow God, that was the best decision that you ever made in your life. Ain't nothing that street can pull me back like that. Even if I go back, I know it's no doubt, no doubt in my mind. They cannot supply the need that God supplies. None of my friends that was close to me. None of them friends I used to hang with. The ones that try to set me up and go to jail. None of them is close and friendly like God is. And none of them. You won't find that. He's always there. He's never busy. You can talk to him whenever. He can always be on your mind. And nobody can ever come between you and God. So I encourage you, brother, you continue reading that scripture. Continue reading that heart, the heart of God. Because the scripture is the heart of God. The mind of God. You know, it says Psalm 73. That's his most Simply everything you read. If you read that whole thing, he said, I would, I would slip and I look at the world and I saw how they was having so much fun. But he said, when I understand, when I came in the sanctuary, I understand they have an end. And I know I have a life everlasting with God. Remember this, my brother. Devil can never replace with God. He's an imitator. He's not the originator. He's an imitator. Yes. He'll give you false hope, Jesus. false lies. God give you promise and truth. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> God give you promise and truth, brother. I told my wife, I wish I could go back and do what I can. But I can't. My house is I know it won't Hallelujah. pay nothing. It won't help me. It won't help me. So the best thing I can do is go to God, call out to God, and I know God can guide me and direct me in my situation. Bro, I can understand your situation. I'm not from the church. I'm from the street. I did my dirt. Like we just said the street. I did my dirt. I did my wrong. You know, the only reason why I ain't cut off because God had mercy on me. That's the same reason why you're here. Don't let that mercy that God put on you be in vain. He gave you that grace for a reason. Redeem the time. All the time that we had with the devil, it's time for us to recoup the time with God. Jesus. To get all that time back. All that time. I can tell now of the truth. I've been walking with God longer than I've been walking with the devil. Hallelujah. That time has come when I said, I used to walk with him for a long time. Of the truth. Hallelujah. Now I know, now I hope. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Yes. So, brother, be encouraged. Remember, God loves you. Amen. Don't never forget that. No matter how hard it is, God loves you. He's going to stick you closer to the brother. Jesus. No matter what goes in your life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I'm going to make it my business. If I have to come get you, that's been me from day one when I walk in the Lord. I come to your house if I know you slip. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how I was raised. I you will not let you fall, brother. If you need somebody to pray with you, tell me to come in and we'll set something up, bro. Because that's guess what? This is real. This is perfect. I love you and I don't want to see you go to hell. Just like you don't want to see me. Amen. So be encouraged, bro. Yeah. 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 No one that loves you, bro. So everybody else here do. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, that's neat. Amen. That is neat God. unto us. Yes, yes. You know, somebody, sometimes you may not understand, yes, but I guarantee you, it's for the saving of somebody's life. Yes, yes sir. Somebody's life. Jesus. We don't know who it is. Jesus. But somebody needs to hear those things. Yes. And we thank and praise God truly that every Jesus. one of us. Jesus. In Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Saints, let us stand. Jesus. Jesus.